Bonjour, I am Monsieur Fromage. Today it is a little cold outside, but we are going to show you a couple plants. This one is called a resurrection plant. I actually have two, two of them. And uh, some people have, have asked me, it's like, oh, this looks dead. This is dead. This is the first one that I that I got. But we are going to show you this the reason why it is called resurrection plant. Okay, so what I have here first, I need some some good water. Usually, where they live, they get rain in order to grow really well. So I don't want to use regular tap water. I am using a reverse osmosis water, or you can use any uh, purified water from a, from a bottle. That will help. So when you first receive your resurrection plant. So this one, I got it on the order from the mail. This one, I actually found it at a local store um, called Hobby Lobby. So first thing, fill up my bucket and I'm going to soak him first. Just soak them like that. And I put them in his little tray. What I like to use is a little tray that and then put a layer of gravel down so the roots won't get all soggy, so the plant won't get all soggy. Okay, I soaked him. Then I'm going to fill up just the lower, just the bottom part. Not too full, just barely covering the gravel. Then I will show you what he's going to do pretty soon. Because he takes a little bit longer than this other one. This other one. This is the one that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Boop. Give him a quick little bath. Put them there. Same thing. They give you like little pebbles in the little packet that it came in. Just didn't seem to be too much. So same thing. Then we just the very bottom. And we leave that cover the bottom for like about a week, let them grow for a little bit, and then let them dry out. So, be right back, show you where the magic happens. And we have a little turtle, he watches out for all the little plants inside, and he looks out over the resurrection plants. There's this one, like I said, he takes a long time. So this one, he is almost fully open. I just like to keep them in one position, you know, not to move them around too much. And then again, keep the water level, just kind of like the gravel level, not let it, the actual plant sit in the water. You know, not like way, way up here. Just keep water just down here where the rocks are. We'll come back to him once he has decided to open up. Like I said, this one usually takes just a couple of minutes to open up. This one, maybe five minutes, but he will open up. 